You know, the more I look at the leaks of the Galaxy Fold is apparently coming, the more I feel that that should have been the first generation design. As yes, the leaks and the teasers of Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked continue as we're pretty much a day away. Apple just refreshed their iMacs, but uh, it's not really the one we were expecting. And let's just say Google finally launched their alternative to AirDrop, but man, they need some help with a better name. I'm Jaime Rivera, and our thoughts and prayers go to everyone that was affected today in the explosion in Beirut. Uh, we are all in shock with you. We are all praying for you. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals, and don't worry, we've got stuff for everyone across the board. Let's start it off with the Razer Blade 15, which is currently $100 off, leaving the Intel Core i7, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of solid state drive variant for $1,900 ship. That's a good one. And this one actually brings some pretty great graphics. The Google Pixel 4 and 4XL are still on discount, meaning you can get the Pixel 4 for $749 shipped and the 4XL for $830 trying to find the deal here, but whatever. Finally, the 46 millimeter Samsung Galaxy watch is available $41 off, leaving it at 240. And then we've got more deals for Fossil smartwatches in addition to Motorola phones and others in the description. Now, we seriously need to grab some people from the marketing department at Apple and sit them down with the people at Google. Just imagine the scenario where you come up to your friend and you're like, hey, can I nearby share a file for you? Or can you nearby share something for me? I mean, because yeah, apparently nearby share, and that's only two of the four names, is what Google's new AirDrop solutions called. Because yes, Google is finally rolling it out. It'll be available on all Android phones running Android 6 or later, which is great. And actually some Google and Samsung phones already have it as we speak. I'm actually gonna go check my phones right now, but once you open a file, you hit the tap button and the nearby share will pop up, letting people close to you get a notification to accept the file. Google also said that it would work with Chromebooks, which is great. I wish it also worked with Windows computers. I mean, Apple does it with the Mac with AirDrop. It's just the welcome Google. I mean, it was great when you would make fun of Apple for not having a solution. And then the AirDrop just blew everyone out of the water and it's taken this long. I'm trying to think of how many years, what, five years for Google to finally catch up? And let's see how fast it is too. And how about if we start talking about Galaxy Leaks, but actually this one is not for Unpacked. That being said, this is from Evan Blass and it's for the Galaxy S20 FE aka fan edition. See, we're expecting this phone to launch sometime in October, and this picture shows the front of the device. Now you can tell that it kind of looks like the Galaxy A51 instead of the S20, but it looks like Samsung won't be cheaping out on internals. Other leaks hinted this phone bringing 120 hertz, IP68 water and dust resistance, a 4,500 milliamp hour battery running the show, and we'll keep you posted on internals as, like seriously, this does look like a fan edition, not a light edition. Well, yeah, we debated why the previous ones were called light if they really weren't. I think that FE is probably not a bad idea. Now, yesterday we covered the leak renders of the Huawei Mate 40. They were interesting to say the least, but uh, today we get the Mate 40 Pro. And uh, let's just say they keep getting more interesting Bear with me. See, it brings sort of a similar design to the Mate 40, but this one does bring a 6.7 inch waterfall display. And with the same dual pill shaped punch hole that we saw yesterday, at the back we have a quad camera array and this stove looks very similar to the old Lumia 1020. So it looks like Huawei is trying to make a statement here and hey, they actually hired all that team from Nokia back in the day, so it could be a possibility. I mean, if you notice the boxy design, the wider than average aspect, I mean, it could actually be an homage to the 1020. These leaks also mention that this phone will be powered by the Kirin 1020. And here's the thing, that one is reported to be five nanometers. You know, as more companies, like for example, Apple is moving to Apple Silicon, Wow, I'm really enticed to see what these ARM processors are gonna do going forward. And yes, the leaks were right. We should have expected a refresh to IMAX and change and everything, but we were expecting a new design, something that looked more like the iPad Pro from the front. Actually, no, we're just getting a refresh in internals for now. Let's focus first on the 27-inch iMac, which uh, received the major upgrades, I'd say. 
For starters, it brings an optional 5K retina display with a new texture glass to reduce glare. That's fantastic. The FaceTime camera, oh my God, it's finally, it's finally 1080p. I'm using the word finally a lot, but it also brings Apple's T2 chip for ISP, tone mapping, exposure control, and more. And moving on to internals, you can get it up to a 10 core, 10th generation Intel Core i9, 128 gigs of RAM, eight terabyte SSD. Now, when it comes to graphics, it starts with the AMD Radeon Pro 53 with four gigs of VRAM, and it goes up to a Radeon Pro 5700 XT, and then 16 gigs of GDDR6 memory. They need to come up with better names for that. Apple also claims that they have improved the mics and the speakers on this one, which is great. This new 27 inch iMac starts at $1799, and the top of the line spec variant goes up to $8 thousand dollars now in addition the 21 inch iMac also got some upgrades but I'm actually not even gonna mention them I don't even know if I should call them upgrades as these are pretty much dual core chips I remember back in the day I would buy iMacs because they were quad I don't even know when they moved to dual core like seriously what year is this but then the iMac Pro also got a spec bump and it now comes equipped with a 10th core Intel Xeon as a standard and it'll also go all the way up to 18 core processors 256 gig of quad channel EC ski memory. But yeah, no, I mean, these are the new iMacs. Uh, at least we're getting SSDs across the board, which is great. You can actually opt in for a fusion drive. That's all fantastic. I'm just disappointed with the 21 inch. Back in the day, whenever somebody wanted to start a YouTube channel, that would be the computer that I would recommend. It was $1,000. You would get a quad core system with some sort of discrete graphics. They were mostly Radeons back in the day, which were still good. And even if you had a regular hard drive, it was a good way to start. That's pretty much the way I started. But man, like to see same price, you know, a thousand bucks and these specs dual core, like seriously? And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy Unpacked event, Galaxy Note 20, whatever you wanna call it. It's happening tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern, set your calendars. We will be having a ton of coverage, even if it's gonna be remote, we're expecting a lot. There are a ton of products that have been teased for this event, and you bet we're prepared. Right now, Samsung just put out a new 30-second teaser. It shows different silhouettes of devices we're expecting, and it reads, introducing new powerful experiences inside Galaxy Innovation. Welcome to the next normal. Interesting. It also shows them mounting up a stage, and we don't exactly know what to expect when it comes to the event format. But then let's also move on to leaks as... Uh, well, they're stronger than ever. We have a full-blown high-resolution gallery of the Z Fold 2 from Evan Blast showing off, well, everything. So yeah, when comparing that new Z Fold 2 with the old Fold, the design looks pretty slimmer. The camera array looks like the one it should have always had, but pretty much what we're seeing in rumors of the Note 20. And probably the best thing is that outer display of the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Man, that name is not great, but I always liked the Galaxy Fold idea. I Thought that it was a great tablet it wasn't a great phone because the outer display was just not there i feel that this is it i'll probably be enticed to get myself one that's what i'm excited about let us know in the comments what you are excited about is it the possible galaxy notes the possible watch that we've been hearing about the buds let us know what you're expecting in the comments down below Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles uh, to see me want that Galaxy Fold, actually, for the first time ever. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.